a lot of people don't seem to know this, but you're not the only one who can get stronger. Your party members can also get stronger. I'm not talking about through leveling up. Everyone knows that. I'm talking stats, moves, traits, the works. Let's get into it. The first clear method is by getting better gear. Easiest way to do this is to just go into mementos and get the gear that way. Later in the game you can get even stronger gear by itemizing personas in the velvet room. The next method from the original game is to just max your party members confidants. Once you reach rank 10 with one of them, their persona will evolve. It will gain a new trait and a new skill that will help them out a lot in battle. The next method is by leveling up a couple other confidants, those being Hanged Man and Moon. The Moon Confidant will give you big EXP boosts that also apply to party members you're not using to save a lot of time. EY allows you to customize guns at his shop with more powerful modifications becoming available as make progress in his confidant. You also get discounts with the ability to customize the guns for free at max. These mods give your guns a huge power boost and you can even customize the ones that you get from the Velvet Room to make them even more busted. This next method involves increasing your baton pass rank with party members, which is quite easy to do. Just play darts with your friends and Kichichoji to increase your rank. If you win the game for your team, you'll rank up once, but if your teammate wins it for you, you'll get two rank ups, maxing it instantly. The best part is that you can do this with two party members at once so it doesn't take that long. Just reload the save if you lose or only get one rank up to save time. The baton pass boost will increase damage, HP and even SP. Next method is to play billiards with your friends to get your technical rank up. Not only will it increase the damage, but it will also increase your chances of knocking the enemy down when you get a technical. It's not as easy as darts however, and you'll need to run around looking for some books to get to most of the ranks. The next method requires you to get Akechi's Confidant to rank 4. Once you get Akechi to rank 4, the Jazz Club and Kichi Choji will be available to you. The earliest this can he done is June 26th. Once it's available to you, you'll be able to invite a party member to attend with you each day. Each day of the week gives a different bonus, so try to plan your attending days around who you think will benefit the most from them. Every Sunday gives you a chance to teach a party member a powerful new skill. Again, make sure you give those to a party member who would benefit the most from them. There's also a singer that appears on certain days. Any effects gained while a singer is present are doubled. Stat boosts for party members carry over to New Game Plus, and any skills learned before can be remembered in the Confession booth as well. It takes a lot of work, but you can get all of your party members' stats to 99 this way. If I recall correctly, is requires 13 playthrough minimum. The final method is to make it to the third semester. If you haven't gotten there yet, stop watching this video and check out my third semester guide. I'll show you how to get there but make sure to like and subscribe before you leave. Proceed if you don't mind being spoiled. You must have your party member's confidant maxed out or you'll miss this opportunity entirely. During the third semester, they will ask you to spend time with them, one at a time. This is not a regular hangout invite, and if you decide not to show up, you'll have to wait until next playthrough to get the chance again. If you decide to attend, you will be able to witness their persona's second awakening, giving them another new trait and a super strong new skill which can come in handy for endgame as well as new game plus events. In Akechi's case, there are certain things that you must say to him, or else his persona will not evolve. First during the rank 7 event, you must say you are my rival. Then during the rank 8 event, you must accept his glove when he offers it to you. Then once he dies on Shido's ship, you must choose to keep your promise to him. Then finally in February 2nd, he will ask you what you plan to do about Maruki. You must answer that you plan to stop him. Once that's resolved, his persona will evolve. Or are you really so spineless that you'd fold over some bullshit trivial threat on my life? Needs to be done. I want to hear you say it aloud. What do you intend to do? I won't wait a moment longer. Answer me. All right, I'm relieved to hear it. I will never accept this form of reality. I'm done being manipulated to our true reality. This is great. I feel... All right. What's a life worth in a reality that was cooked up just to satisfy someone else? 
I say none. That's all there is powering up your party members. Those bosses should be a bit easier to beat now, later losers.